Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Upper 2. Man, I've got a headache. My mind is elsewhere. I've actually been doing a bit of recording for Persona 4 the past two days, though. Well, maybe it's just the past day. I've been, like, on and off sleeping. My sleeping pattern's all over the place. It's just like, I went to sleep, woke up, did recording. Then I fell asleep while editing, woke up edited some more and all that, just like, man, editing's so goddamn boring, especially with Persona 4, because I have to record it a second time onto the laptop before I can even edit it. It's just, oh, so tedious. But anyways, I could feel that was way just because it was New Year's, I must be a lucky guy. <sighs> My first yawn of the year, and then zzz, he swallows a fly. Sukunami and others were still sleeping, it didn't look like they'd wake up soon. The mess in the room reminded me of the party last night, but I intentionally ignored it. What mess? I don't see a mess. Ugh. I was still sleepy, but I'd slept for more than five hours, so I didn't need to sleep anymore. What? Uh, it's only f just over five hours, that's all the sleep you ever need in life, right? Would somebody be in the dining hall? It's a I don't know how much sleep I get, really. It's kind of on and off half the time. Or maybe I should take morning bath instead. Take a morning bath. I pondered it for a while. To the cafeteria! The dining hall has doubles as a, here doubles as a lounge, so somebody who got up early might be there as well. I head to the dining hall. I take it Anzu is in the bath, probably. Oh, nobody's here. I was hoping that somebody would be here, but I didn't find anybody. Okay, maybe I'll take a walk until everybody wakes up. Hmm? <laughs> While I was relaxing in a nearby chair, I saw Amikaze coming down the hall. She looked a bit weird, but I decided to talk to her anyway. Hi, Amikaze. Happy New Year. <laughs> you know, one thing that, like, I was thinking about, like, you know, like, I always do, like, a music kind of montage at the end of the year. And this is, like, while it's not something I, like, have planned for this year, I just, like, you know, this is what I had in mind for this year's montage thing that I'll do at the end of the year like I've done the previous few years. But, I was just like randomly thinking, you know what would be interesting if I mixed a shit ton of instruments into one? Like got the keyboard out, like saxophone settings, saxophone solo, switch it to sitar, sitar, whatever the hell it's pronounced as, have a solo of that in there and just like back it up, violins, freaking harp and uh, slow strings to kind of like keep in the background, add in the drums using the keyboard because I don't have a drum kit anymore, then maybe add in my actual bass guitar and then some electric guitar and just piano and everything, just combine it and just be like awesome and then I was like, when I actually tried to record something like that, I was like, fuck, the quality of the sound is just not right. Just like, oh, that's, that's a pain in the ass, man. I like playing music, but recording it's a freaking bitch, I gotta say. I've wrote, like, quite a few songs and just haven't been able to record any of them. Which pisses me off greatly, because it's something I really want to do, but I can't, because it's just like... Every one of my songs that I write has, like, three different guitar parts, and occasionally the bass as well. Because that's about as far as I got with it on musical instrument wise, I've only like wrote lyrics for maybe three or four songs. But yeah, you get the idea, it's a pain in the ass. And that that brings back to like what I was saying like early early in the recording where it's like my mind's in the clouds. Cause I just like thinking of that singer, Lordy, whatever the hell her name's pronounced as. I remember he hearing so much hype about her song Royals, it's just like, it's greatest fucking thing ever, it's fucking, it's the shit, man, it's, it's the best song ever, so I gave it a listen a while back, I remember, it's like, yeah, it's deep lyrics, deep lyrics, uh, okay-ish, uh, vocals, just like, okay-ish lyrics, vocals, those are the best, and it's like, 
well, it's okay and all, but I don't see the groundbreakingness of it. I mean, is it because she doesn't use the auto tune and just like, bravo, finally, an artist, and a young artist that does that brilliant. Lyrics are deep, but where the fuck's the music? It's like, that, if I had a decent singing voice, I could pretty much just do that. Just write down a song and just like, I'll sing the song. Singing a song while I click my fingers. You know, imagine if It's a Kind of Magic was done in that way. But yeah, I don't know. I just didn't really get why the song is seen as such... I mean, sure, the lyrics are deep, the vocals are alright and not auto-tuned, but it's so lacking in, you know, the instrument department. But you get a bit of bass that you can barely hear, and... If I decide to do music in that way, it'd be much easier to record. Trouble is, of course, is singing is definitely not my strong point. That's actually the most pain in the ass thing when it comes to it. It's just like, okay, just play the chords and just like, sing then. I, I can't. It feels too awkward. So yeah, just thought I'd get off my mind. Well, traditionally, you're supposed to say it in the morning. Hopefully, I didn't piss anyone off by saying any of that. Yeah. Oh, don't be so lame. Have a happy new year. Do you want another pillow on your head? Amikaze lost her balance as she tried to bow. What's wrong? You look sick. Is something wrong? Uh-huh, alright. I see. Amakaze, you're suffering from muscle pain, aren't you? No, back on the subject of that. Just, well, it's not really that. I mean, the singing and all that. No auto tune. And one thing that, like, this has got nothing to actually do with the singer and playing that. But you know what really bugs me in a lot of singers, particularly pop singers, is when they go, oh, ooh, yeah, ooh, oh. They just do that, it's like, oh, come on, just sing it properly. No, oh, ooh. just sing it properly. Oh, ow. I'm f it just pisses me off whenever you hear that. It's like, just sing the song, no added. Ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh, only add it if it really just don't don't overkill on it, man. Jeez. You use muscles that you usually wouldn't use much. It's only natural, though. Wait, but she's a robot. But it looks like nothing but muscle pain. Uh, wait, that could be the exact reason, don't you think? You're supposed to be as close as possible to a human being so you can do whatever a human can do, right? See, that's why when your muscles are overused, you get muscle pain. Well, muscle pain. Your body emulates a real human body perfectly. You're equipped with a muscular pain function, and so to speak. <laughs> You'd think that would be a flaw to add to a robot. We want to make you as human as possible. So, uh, what was the purpose anyway? Amikazu was startled. She looked sulky. Do you want me to help when you go up and down the stairs? Can you imagine that? Like, say, like, someone builds a bunch of robots to take over the world, and he decides 
to give them that function. It's like, what the hell were you thinking, you fool? You don't have to be mad at me. Then some other guests came into the dining hall. And there were a few of my friends too. Can you imagine that? Go, my minions! Charge my robots! She's like, yes! Oh, fuck, we got muscle pain cramps! Ah! Ah, oh, god damn it! Hey, I'm a Kaze. <laughs> Minatsu cautioned me and walked over to everybody with awkward steps. She seemed upset because of what I said. I didn't do anything though. After breakfast we all went and hit the slopes. What are we doing now? Anzu looked up at the ski slope and fought for a minute. The beginner's one? Alright. Hmm. It didn't look too exciting to me, but it should be good for Watara and Coco. Right. But you are a robot. I'm because you looked excited. You are a robot. No, I didn't. Don't you have a good memory, Amikaze? How the hell does that work? Then, what did she mean by the robot-like memory? I was baffled and Anzu murmured. She does seem a bit more robotic than Amakaze, really, doesn't she? Anzu. Hey. I certainly heard Anzu mumble that. Anzu? I told everybody to go to the beginner's slip, then we started pairing up and lining up at the lift. All right, up, Kaze, let's go. Why do you care? Here, come on. How is it? Uh, how are you doing? That's impressive. You made it sound like I'm an old man. I shrugged my shoulders with a sigh. Are you enjoying this trip? Even though she answered bluntly, she looked like she was having fun somehow. Uh-huh, you're having fun, huh? That's awesome. She got upset it was really like her. She acted like a real human being. Hey, uh, Mikaze? I got it. You're not having fun. You don't know what's interesting about skiing. You're here because I forced you to go. Are you really a robot? I couldn't help asking. Um, I just wondered because you talk like a real human and it seems that you have feelings. Uh, sorry. I shouldn't have said that. 
You know, imagine if some weird just rigging. Like, imagine if your computer, your laptop, everything, just like it had feelings. Wouldn't that be creepy as balls? Sakurai, robot te nanda to mo? Hey, um, a robot is a human shaped machine with. Minatsu ga jibun o minatsu da to mo bubun wa. Kono kikai no karada nano ka? Kisama ga jibun o Sakurai Yoshiyuki da te mo no wa doko da? Sono karada ka? Eh, isn't it in my brain? Maybe not. My heart? Heart. Maybe not. Consciousness? Ego? Hmm. It's a tough question, come to think of it. Kind of. She was right. Her ego didn't exist in the hardware called the electronic brain or in her software, namely the AI. Hamikaze Minatsu was the consciousness that resided in there. I see, you're right. Humans suppress your functions due to our selfish reasons. I can understand why you hate humans. And if things don't go as they expected, they destroy them easily, they don't even think the robots have hearts, or they actually don't want to admit that they do. It's natural that you hate humans. Well, we kind of... we're dicks in pretty much everything, really. Like, if there's... There are... I think there are people in the world that, like, look at certain animals and be like, They're too dumb to have feelings. You fucking what, mate? They can feel pain, you know? Just like... We are such dicks when it comes to it. Like, when it's like humans, you're just like... With other humans, you're just like... Okay, 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 okay. Well, actually, no, we're more like, we hate each other, but we tolerate each other for the most part. Our animals have taken the way of our, uh, you know, what we call progress. Just like, ah, uh, we shall build another parking lot here, so knock down all those trees, will you? Just like, we live here! Well, do you have a flag? As Eddie Izzard would say, and boom! We kind of we really are. It's just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'd totally get along, man. We'd just be like saying... Like pointing out the flaws in humanity. I hate freaking thinking about it too much because it's just like... Oh, it's so depressing how freaking crappy it freaking... Just... Ugh. But I uh, think of you as my friend. Maybe it's one-sided, but... <laughs> And because they stared at me for a while and spoke. Like, for example, like, I'll always, like, think of where people say, We are the smartest, most intelligent species on the planet. Just think, yes. Self-proclaimed, yes. Just like, well, you see any other animals, like, exploring space? Not really, no. Well, so we are smarter by that default. Yes, but we also destroy each other at a much alarming rate than any other species, right? So, we're still smarter. Just like, but we're so... It's like we've got the intelligence, but lack the wisdom to freaking use it effectively. And just boggles my mind, I gotta say. So could I. But anyways, that's off subject. Hmm? <laughs> Um, yeah. I hurriedly raised the tip of my ski. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, me too. Maybe you're right. You know, if robots like her existed in the world, they probably wouldn't hate me. Well, who knows? Because 
when it comes to for me, I'm like, unless it's a control pad and I'm in a bad mood, for example, I tend to not, like, treat them like objects. Just like, fucking god damn it, or anything like that. Like, I'm careful with various things, just like, yeah, huh, just like, what are you doing? Just freaking shove it down or whatever. Like, no, no, carefully place it there and there and... Oh, who am I kidding? When I'm pissed off, I just shake the laptop. He's like, ah, goddamn, you work! That's true. I uh, heave the sigh. Yeah. Amakaze slid down the hill. Well, then, I think I should take care of those go goofballs. Whoa, here you are, two goofballs. It takes a bit more than a second to get down there. If you try, huh? I noticed that they were covered with snow. Even though we haven't skied a foot yet. Can you explain why you're covered with snow? <laughs> Anyhow, you couldn't get off the lift smoothly and fell. Okay, I'll train you from beginners into novices. You can do it, but only if you try. Anyway, let's do it. Days approach to give it your best and you've got to reach your prime. Just randomly for that when he just like, okay, let's do it. I kept coaching with Tara and Coco for a while and before I knew it, it was already lunchtime. You didn't even get a montage. I'd been teaching them for the whole morning. Mm, yeah, a little bit. I expected them to improve, but they couldn't keep up no matter how slowly I went. Coco whimpered at me. Actually, I felt the same. Okay, let's have a break. The restaurant would be really crowded at lunchtime, so we'd have to wait in line. I wish that I could go at a different time, but it didn't seem like I'd get that luxury. <laughs> What do you want? Oh, Got it, all right, hold our seats for us. Motaro clumsily removed his skis and wobbled into the restaurant. Okay, let's screw up then. すべれない私たちのために時間を割いてくれて、本当は吉行だって思いっきり滑りたいんでしょ。いや。午後は思いっきり楽しんでおいでよ。午後は七日や杉並君たちに見てもらうからさ。いや。うん。吉行のおかげ
You gotta hit the advanced slope. I should hit the advanced course. I made up my mind. Oh, alright. I followed Coco into the restaurant. So I take it the other choice is where Anzu would probably be. After lunch, I left the restaurant and put my goggles on, then I stretched with a yeah sound. Phew, even though I was only teaching, I'm tired. Since Vatara and Coco went quick learners, I had a rough time of it. I put my ski poles under my arms and twisted my waist a few times. I should leave them to Nanaka and Tsunami and enjoy skiing in the afternoon. Hmm? While I was putting my skis on, I heard a voice from the top. Amikaze? Amikaze stopped in front of me, strewing in the snow. Actually, I am. Where have you been skiing? Well, I'm just glad that you look like you're having fun. What is wrong with having fun anyway? <laughs> just like what? Do you just like I I'm not I don't have fun. I I'm I, I'm never enjoying myself because I wouldn't enjoy anything because I'm a robot. So yeah. Alright. Just admit it. Yeah, I do, I do. I couldn't help smirking though I was nodding. I felt happy that she was enjoying the trip with everybody despite the fact that she was always saying that she hated humans. Door opens as usual there. By the way, I was thinking of going to the advanced course. Would you care to join me? Iku. Sudden change? That was quick. I guess you're really into this. No, huh? oh, I didn't. Let's go. Show me how well you ski. Ah, <laughs> I'm because they chuckled. <laughs> I can't wait. I got onto the lift with Amikaze and skied with her until it got dark.